Good morning. Welcome to morning meditations. Settling in for a minute or 10. Um, warm fluid in hand. I invite you to have your warm fluid in hand. <laughs> I don't have my chimes inside. You may ask, why am I inside? Just thought I'd I meditated outside under the trees and I thought, I'll just change it up. I'll change up the lighting, the atmosphere, see how it goes. But I miss my chimes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How's that? Uh, those, those frequencies, the vibrations that we hear, they absorb into us, into our cells, and they can actually reset the vibration of your cellular matrix. And that's what the basis of a crystal bowl sound bath is, or, or a gong bath, a sound bath. And if you haven't had one, I would invite you to do that, because that's a very powerful experience. I have some crystal bowls, so um, that is available someday. For us to do that. As a matter of fact, um, I will. Ah, let's see. So many things have arisen. Um, one of my sub, some of okay. So, so I, I love getting asked questions that that will sort of you know challenge me in a way um, without being defensive of why I do things or how I do things the way I do them. I'm gonna close the door because my bird is going crazy. Uh, let's right back. Come on. She's got amazing hearing, and she's like a dog. She'll follow me around the house. So, um, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, I posted a photograph that um, a professional photographer had taken. And it was side by side, two pictures of me, uh, I think highly stylized, it was yesterday. And um, I just thought it was fun, a photograph, and, and someone asked me, um, why did I use filters? Which, I don't know what that means, I'm gonna guess that means those, if you're um, doing your photography on your iPhone, it means those little blocks down below, um, which I don't know, why they're, they're filters but they're like really filtered color so I mean whatever you guys want to do artistically to your photographs I'm I'm down for that um, again I I don't want to be held to a higher standard of, of uh, relinquishing art or something um, that can be used for fun um, to to be more uh, pure or, or more uh, believable. It doesn't matter whether anyone believes who I am or what I do or what I say. Um, I just am a who I am and I just want us to not be held to a higher standard. Um, we are admonished for growing older. You old hag, granny, which are actually, granny is an awesome term of endearment. I'm honored by that. When people call me granny, i my first thought is thank you when they don't mean it that way. Um, I had a woman at Stagecoach Festival uh, about eight years ago stand up across the table. She was drunk and uh, being very loud and rude. And, um, and she looked over at me and said, hey, old lady. And uh, she wanted to fight me. And she stood up to fight me. And uh, that was just, I, I couldn't help but laugh at that either. Um, so... I think it's an honor and a blessing to have reached this level to be an old lady. Uh, and uh, emphasis on lady, thank you. Um, and so what that means is leveling up. I call it leveling. Um, it sounds so much better than grow, uh, old, you know, aging. Uh, fine wines age. Uh, awesome people level up. Uh, it's like a higher level in a game, you know. You reach has done so much, so fast, so hard, so well, so poised, so experienced that you just 
got to the next level. And uh, so I honor that. Um, but being held to uh, any type of standard, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. So I think that where we're, or what she was trying to say, I'm not sure. Um, although she did, I asked, and she did try to explain that, um, again, that something with the filters. Um, it wasn't my photography. It was an art shot, and I honor that. And um, But let's get back to acceptance of leveling up. And, and, um, and celebrating leveling up. Um, and what that means to me is so many women and men uh, strive hard to stay young. I mean, that's their, that's their goal is to look younger. And, and the marketing is all promotes that youthful, dewy skin proven to be, to look, you know, five to 10 years younger. Um, if we and and I've been an active uh, pro ager for a long time. I I think maybe mine was the first hashtag pro aging, and maybe the first hashtag anti ageism and people who do like call out age like it's a bad thing, you know, because we abhor racism, we abhor sexism, we I um, hopefully our culture does, and yet. We allow ageism. We allow uh, others to mock the elderly. Um, I, I've seen clowns and comedians or, or people uh, for Halloween costumes, you know, um, use a walker um, uh, with the shoulders hunched down. It's, it's just a terrible caricature of people who are, who are disabled. Um, and and I, I liken it to that, and I really wish this culture would just stop that. Okay, old people have a hard time. I'm older, but I'm not old yet. But I know I will be, hopefully. And uh, I just don't like it. It's not nice. It's not kind. Uh, it's not, and and it's not hurling uh, an insult um, to call someone old. Um, what it is is just um, you being afraid of your own future. You know this. Could, that could be you. you Maybe if you're lucky and you have the honor of, of growing older, it's a blessing. And being able to see your, you know, your family and your kids and your kids' kids and to learn who they are and, um, and how they've been able to navigate life. And um, so well, that's one thing that arose this morning. <laughs> Um, I am not against anybody, any woman, any man doing whatever they want to, to feel or look better with their body. If that means working out harder, eating good food, eating less food, um, eating more food, um, overcoming body consciousness, overcoming age consciousness. I, um, I think that there is um, a healthy way to feel about yourself that can include modern technology you know we you know wh where's the dividing line um, for uh, dyeing your hair to cover the gray versus um, major plastic surgery on your face um, so it's up to you I just like to invite us all to not make it about being young are striving to stay that way. It's really just about um, the desire to look good and feel good. And I am not going to admonish anyone for doing whatever they want to uh, look good or feel good. I mean, it's very sad when someone um, does some really um, drastic things to change the way they look. And I think it's sad because um, then they're going to be judged more harshly and and I think there's pain involved in that um, because people can see that pain and uh, and and people will you know you're just offering yourself up as the buffet you know if you overdo whatever you thought you were doing to make yourself better and then you it's not right or it looks not you know it looks scary or Anyway, I don't think you're doing yourself a service. I think you're doing yourself a disservice. But then it's your body and do whatever you want. Um, 
I just think the intention of what, why you're doing it is, is important. Um, are you doing it to be or look or stay young? Or are you doing it because you just want to look better? Like, you know, your house is, the roof is falling in. You want to fix it. Um, or you need a paint job. So my, that's my thoughts. I'm not anti uh, looking better. I'm not anti the desire to look better or to feel better. Um, what I am, I am is pro feeling good about aging and celebrating it and accepting it. And I guess that's going to be all today because I told myself I would stay under 10 minutes, although there's just so much to talk about. Gosh, I've had so many things that arose. I'm going to have to write them down. Um, but I just want you, oh, and we forgot to breathe. Oh, holy moly. Let's do that now, okay? Put down your warm fluid. Mm. And exhale. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold the love, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Once again, we're gonna bring in the love and the peace and the joy and the devotion and the happiness and the kindness. Breathe in, two, three, four. Feel the love swirl, two, three, four. Release, exhale, two, three, four. All that love into the universe. And I love you. So many things, so many one more things. Okay. Please go out and live a curated life today. Curate your experience. Craft your own life today. Go from here. I invite you to uh, any external forces that may be crafting your life without you involved, become more active in the crafting of your life. Pick up something that you love to do, that you are in love with, and take action in that direction, okay? Please remember, be in love, fear and doubt can, and distrust cannot live in a, a home of love, and home meaning your heart, okay? And we're going to talk about more things later, like the home, what that means, and why some people don't feel at home when they're at home. Okay. Namaste. Namaste.